Hey everybody, this is Mason with Best Tugs. I just wanted to show you today how to set up your Best Tugs Alpha and then after you uh, first pull it out of the box, you got your brand new tug, what you need to do to get it ready to move your plane. When you first get your Best Tugs Alpha, it'll show up just like this. So we actually sent it to you almost fully assembled. So there's really zero assembly required and uh, you can just really use it out of the box. We'll even send it with a charge on it so you don't have to worry about plugging it in before you can just get it and go. So a couple of first things that you'll want to do, your arms will be in the box so they won't be uh, connected to it immediately. What you'll do with these, it's just really quick and easy. You pull this pin and slide the arm in just like that and then that, that arm's in there. This arm sets in just like that. So again, no tools required in order to do it. You just slide the arms in, you're ready to go. All right, so I just want to do a quick overview of uh, some of the different parts and features of the Alpha. The first one is right down in here. You'll notice that this base actually pivots back and forth. That makes it so you don't have to pick the tug up and set it down every time you want to change directions and steer. Now, if, if for any reason you don't want that pivot, all you have to do is pull this pin and you put it right inside of there. Now this hole right here is strictly for storage. So whenever, you know, now it's locked. If you ever don't want it to be locked, you just pull it out and stick it in here. It's just a place to hold the pin so you don't lose it. And then the tug will pivot back and forth. Then when you're wanting to actually operate the tug, you have your display panel up here and to open and close the arms is just right here. So you don't have to bend down. You're not playing with anything down there. It's all open and close. And this Some aircraft require a specific set of adapters in order to actually attach onto the aircraft. For example, if you have a tailwheel airplane, you'll receive a set of adapters that look similar to this. And this has got a hole here and you'll just align it with the hole on the actual slide itself and slide that pin in there, that side set, and you'll slide this pin into here. When you're first going to hook this up to your airplane, open the arms up so that the arms are open and ready to hook onto the plane and then you'll drive the tug up to the plane now once you get within about a foot or a foot and a half i recommend turning the tug off the reason you have to have the tug off is because you can't push it unless the tug is actually off and that's because of the auto braking feature meaning that when you come off the throttle the tug will actually slow down and stop the airplane so if you want to push it under your own power you actually have to have the tug off and then you'll walk up to the airplane and I align the right side up first and sink that adapter in just like that. And then with this side, you'll close it. Now, if you come up here close, you'll see that I'm a little bit off of this, uh, this nut here. So I'm just gonna come, pull this pin and actually line that up, make sure I'm nice and tight on that tail wheel, just like that. And now I'm ready to go. So I've set that setting there. I'll never have to do it again. From then on, anytime I want to attach or unattach from the airplane, I just pull that and now I'm unattached. And then when I want to attach it to the airplane, again, walk up to it, turn the power off, push it, align the right side in first, close this arm and you're good to go. Okay, and the last thing I wanted to show you here was actually the throttle. And it's a wig-wag throttle that you can control with your thumbs right here, or you can also control with your fingertips, just reaching up over the top, you can actually come up over and reach it with your fingertips here, whichever way you'd like to do it. Now, if you're controlling with your thumb, right thumb is going to be forward, left thumb is going to be backwards, and it is completely variable. So the further you push this in, the quicker the tug is going to go. So if you want to go at a nice slow speed, you just push it in a little ways and the tug will actually go, uh, you know, it can even go a little bit slower than this. And you have the same torque and power that you would at full speed. So you can move your plane uphill going this speed, no need to get a running start. And then if you, of course, if you want to go quicker, you just go a little bit quicker and then full speed. It's completely variable and the speed's up to you how fast you want to go. The tug is even equipped with an auto throttle, meaning it'll make 30 changes a second as uh, let's say you're going over hangar door rails or you're going up a hill. The, pl the plane is going to give you back more resistance. The tug will sense that increase in resistance and automatically increase torque on demand. 
Here are the last couple quick tips and tricks with the Alpha. The only issue I've ever had any of our customers have is a little bit of loss of traction. Now what we've done to fix that is we've gone to a high traction tire like you see here and since then it's always worked extremely well. Now if you notice if you've got a painted floor inside your hangar and you notice a little bit of loss of traction at the beginning, what you can do is push down just a little bit on the handle. You don't have to push down a lot, just a little bit of down pressure will give you all the traction that you need. And another trick that you can use, just start a little slower. So, if you'll notice, I don't have any pressure coming down at all, but if I just take a nice, easy start, you'll notice there's no slipping of the tires, I have full traction, and it's able to move the plane. Same thing when you're going backwards, just nice, easy movements, the tug will work, and you won't have any of that loss of traction. Now, if you do have snow or ice, if you're in a part of the country where you get a little ice build up on the outside of your hangar, I don't necessarily recommend our Alpha Tug. Just like any dragger style tug where the weight of the plane isn't loaded onto it, you just need the weight over the tires in order to get the traction in the snow. So I'd recommend our Bravo line like our B5, our B9, or even our B12, and you'll have wonderful traction in snow or ice. Again, that's nothing that's wrong with the Alpha. That's just where you're putting the weight and you want as much weight as you possibly can over those drive tires. Other than that, if you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call, reach out to us, shoot us an email. We want to help you out and we love all our customers and we're extremely grateful for everybody that's bought a Best Tug and has their Best Tug and is recommending it to their friends and family.